Lithium marches to a fast beat, especially since it's Nyagarbaha day. They're all occupied with their own matters. Just act natural. Now, hurry along. For. It's a lift that academia personnel use to access higher floors. Are we gonna take it then? The Grand Sage's office is up there somewhere. No, not right now. We can't guarantee that we won't run into the Great Sage. Let's step back and observe for now. You think the Grand Sage will exit from there? And after he does, we'd sneak past him? Oh, Paimon thinks that's really dangerous. Who knows? However, if we can confirm Azar's current location, our operation will be much safer if we... Allow me to offer you a hint. If you wish to know his location, look behind you. Do not tell me you believed the Academia would not grow suspicious of you after such a prolonged absence, scribe. An eyewitness had informed me of your whereabouts, so I came to personally welcome you. Great Sage, I didn't expect you to care so much about me. I'm truly flattered. I'm sure. But compared to you, I am far more interested in these two unexpected guests. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? It's a pity that only now have I been afforded the opportunity to formally meet two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. I do apologize for my lack of decorum. Excellent. You immediately initiated discussion instead of attempting to prepare some perfunctory excuse. You clearly understand the situation at hand, and have no intention of making a reckless stand. The foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. Please, follow me to my office. This place is crawling with guards. There's no way out for us. All right then, Traveler. What did you wish to discuss with me? Today is Neagarbaha Day, so I still have many responsibilities to attend to. There is little time for idle chit-chat before I detain you all. Hmm. You seem to know quite a bit about our endeavors. If that is so... Then you should be praising our great work, rather than using your trivial misgivings in a futile attempt to sway me. Trivial? Then tell me, what do the Fatui want from me? <laughs> worthless. Those are all completely worthless. Benefits, divine power. These materialistic words do nothing but debase our great work. Creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create a god. If humanity cannot attain omniscience and omnipotence, then we shall create a god to reveal them. This is the pinnacle of human wisdom. We shall regain a god's guidance at long last. No longer will we flounder in the interminable void of consciousness and knowledge. Even Ermin's soul will be freed from its plight. For our nation of scholars, this is the ultimate aspiration. No cost is too great to realize it.
You will never understand the rapture of having a god be born within your very hands. With your degree of knowledge, you cannot even comprehend such an emotion. Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Lesser Lord Kusanali. What can she even do? Care for the people? Fend off sandstorms? Fabricate silly fairy tales? <laughs> These are but child's play for the academia. Does that make us equal to the gods? We are a people favored by Greater Lord Rukadevata. Though I may have personally not seen it, our forefathers bore witness to true wisdom. The ascension of the Lesser Lord has brought nothing but bewilderment to the scholars. They all ask, is that truly what true wisdom is supposed to look like? With that in mind, it is better to keep her isolated in the sanctuary of Suristhana, so our academy will not become embroiled in turmoil. What a pathetic justification! Do you really think that only the super smart or powerful should be able to call themselves gods? As per your judgment, Grand Sage, they are indeed dangerous individuals. Not only are they acting against the academia, but their ideologies have the potential to lead scholars astray. Looks like there really was merit in my assignment. Alhatham? Are you talking about us? Anyway, I've brought them to the academia as ordered, but it took some time and trouble. Oh, that reminds me. Here's the investigation report you had requested. It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler, an array of information about him ready for your perusal. I'll hate them! So you're... You're still on the Academia side! We finally started to trust you! Hmm... Excellent. Detailed contents with no errors. I would expect nothing less than an immaculate report from the scribe. As it is near Garbaha Day, I'll enter the information on you into the Akasha. Surely you know what that means. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. Furthermore, your data will be updated in real time whenever new information presents itself. To put it into words you can understand, wherever you go, you will be walking under an invisible leash. This is Sumeru's greatest penalty for dishonest persons. Are you not familiar with the concept that great responsibility begets an equally great suspicion? In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. Locking you down will greatly decrease the chance of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. You're despicable! Despicable? Hmm. Perhaps from your perspective, but I suppose you had mentally prepared yourselves for this, no? Your ploy was to sacrifice the Traveler here, was it not? Uh... Lord Azar, I know what you're trying to say, but I've been following your plan this entire time. Why are you doubting me at this juncture? Huh. <laughs> Must I delineate your entire plan? Very well. I will spell things out. First off... I received an eyewitness report that you were spotted with the Traveler at Caravan Rebat. However, you immediately departed for the desert and escaped surveillance range. Judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Am I correct? <sighs> Maybe Paimon shouldn't have mentioned Sino just now. The Academia had not received correspondence from its scribe for a prolonged time. You were also in the company of the Traveler, a close associate of Lesser Lord Kusanali and General Mahamatra Sino, who had defected from the Academia. With their instigation, what was the probability that you would betray the Academia? Rationally speaking, 50%? 70%? What do you think? Regardless, that's only a guess. The facts are that I've brought the Traveler right before you, and I gave you my report. 
Indeed, your boldness deserves praise. To think that despite status as an outlander, the Traveler is still willing to sacrifice for the sake of your plan. If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali and ruin our great work. Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day, using Alhatham's status as the scribe. For there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. Should your intentions be discovered, Alhatham will turn traitor and sacrifice the Traveler, thus proving his innocence. He can then stay inside the Academia and continue searching for a way to proceed forward. As for Sino, according to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the Academia and confront me in person. I suppose this is also a part of your plan? <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say, no? Even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon! Hmm. <laughs> so flight has turned to fight at long last. Guards! Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Traitor. You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Hazar! <laughs> He has gone completely insane. <laughs> Take him to the Matra and exile him to Aru village. Then, find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. Right, right! Paimon thinks it went something like this. 